Hey guys, what's going on? We got another Mythic Plus video. This time we are doing a plus 22 at Taldazar as Elemental Shaman. I know usually I am Enhancement, but uh, I've been wanting to kind of take a break and try Elemental a bit more and get used to it. Because I think having that ranged is more viable. Uh, especially considering a lot of uh, teammates I play with are melee. But anyways, this is a full pickup group. Uh, nobody here I know, I just threw myself out there and queued up for one key because that's all I've been doing the past few weeks is just one key. It's getting late into the season and uh, it's just been uh, a bit stale now I guess. I'm not, I, I want to push but at the same time I'm not quite interested. You know it's hard to say but um, I don't know. Uh, are you still interested in Mythic Plus this late into the season? Because, like, I, I, I like Mythic Plus. It's always fun, but I always push really hard at the start. You know, get all the way as far as I can and then kind of just teeter on as we go. Um, but now that we're full geared, uh, there's really... I don't feel the incentive to push. I mean, the only thing to go any higher is a title. And I'm never going to get that because I do not want to push a plus 30 uh, at all. And that's where all the uh, top dogs are. But um, more or less, you know, I just want to practice my elemental and get used to it because I think elemental is a lot of fun. Uh, I've been playing it a lot in raid, getting parses and stuff like that. So, But uh, I want to know if you guys are playing shaman or maybe any other class that you play and you're just watching those because you're interested in mythic plus content are there any abilities you hope to come back i mean they have announced the hero talents which uh zero of them have been out for shaman unfortunately but i can see a couple probably coming soon hopefully uh, i'd like to check them out but uh are there any abilities you look forward to possibly coming back? Because personally, I am crossing my fingers that uh, Chain Harvest might come back. Uh, I think that is a great uh, button for shamans in general, all specs. Uh, one, it puts out Flame Shock on five targets. And the other one is it's a big heal for the entire group. It, it's kind of crazy. Um, but uh, I'm really, I really want that to come back and... Honestly, as a shaman, I really hope they change the lower portion of the talent tree. Uh, I do not think it's very good. There is... Like, the totem reset is cool. Uh, but overall, the other things that you can get, nature swiftness, I guess, could be down there. But the stone stand totem, uh, thunderstorm... You know, all the other talents, Poison Cleanse, like, is that really worthy of calling it a final tier talent? Like, to me, no. Not, like, not even close. And having zero offensive power in our base talent tree feels kind of bad to me. I don't know. When I look at other ones, like, uh, I've recently picked up uh, Priest. Uh, you get Mind Games which I thought is really, really cool. Uh, all specs can get it. Uh, warriors, obviously, they're more of an offensive type of uh, class, but they have a choice between Avatar, Spear, and Shockwave, which I think... I don't believe Shockwave belongs in that bottom tier. I I think that should have been something else, but, you know... But that's the thing. I, I think we need a more offensive power in our lower tree and i think chain harvest would fit that because one i think all specs would use it especially elemental it would help get the flame shocks out to make uh primordial wave more valued and take less uh pressure off of making sure you perfectly use your lava totem to get those flame shocks out I think it's super awkward sometimes to get these uh, flame shocks out, especially in the bigger groups. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Fate transfusion would be a really good one for all specs. I think chain harvest and Fate transfusion could be on the same node, and you can alternate them. I think that'd be really good because it also adds that damage to healing if affect. 
effect, not affect. What the hell? But uh, I think those would be nice introductions. And then one for enhance that I kind of want to come back, but I can see it not being is uh, static accumulation. I believe it was called. Basically, every time you would storm strike, your lightning shield would gain a charge. And once you reach 10 charges, uh, your auto attacks would deal nature damage from your lightning shield uh, per attack, if that made sense. But anyways, it basically made your auto attacks do nature damage. And I thought that would be a really cool idea to have and something else different, or possibly in addition to that, you know. But um, I thought that was interesting. Uh, Earth Spike was interesting. Uh, that was back in, I believe it was Legion and BFA, I think. Uh, basically, this was before the, uh, Maelstrom. Okay, so before Maelstrom was Maelstrom Weapon, it was our resource. If you didn't play Enhance in BFA or Legion, it was a resource bar rather than a uh, buff to cast something. Uh, basically, it would cost a little bit of Maelstrom like everything else. And it would base it was it was kind of like a small effect where it would just increase nature and physical damage on a twenty second cooldown. I, I would like to see that come back, but with more value to it. I think they could add a bit more because I thought it was interesting to add. It increased nature and physical, but uh it, it's something to add rather than just having feral spirits as our cooldown because ascendance, you're never gonna really take uh on use ascendance and they'll never change that as long as root of the elements exists i don't think that will ever ever change because it's so strong you just get more value out of it in the longer fights uh but uh yeah there's so many things that i i think the enhanced tree and the shaman tree are great but i would like to see more power added to the class tree side of things it and honestly, I would like to see a change to Earth Elemental. And because that is technically our second defensive, I would like to see a talent added to turn that into more of a defensive. You know, rather than having the Elemental spawn, you can have the Elemental, like, uh, I'm not sure how to really say this but basically form on top of you or something giving you armor increasing your health by 15 percent but also reducing damage taken by 15 percent and lowering the cooldown by half making it a two and a half minute cooldown rather than a five minute and it only lasts like you know 10 seconds or something but i i think enhancement well shaman in general need more defensives and i think that would be a great addition to it uh, there's a lot of utility on our tree that just kind of doesn't get used, such as Stone Skin Totem. Uh, I believe it's called Tranquil Totem that reduces kick durations, which is honestly ridiculous. I don't, I've never seen it used, maybe in PvP, but like, no. Uh, Poison Cleanse Totem is very niche. It does help out a lot, especially when. Um, when it's afflicted weak, it's definitely huge, and I have used it quite a bit. But uh, it, it doesn't really... It doesn't get used all the time, obviously. In dungeons where there's poison effects, there's sometimes use for it, but uh, not, not too much. And Totem Reset is never really used for enhancement, other than PvP to reset grounding totem and stuff like that. And for elemental, it's only used in the lava build. You don't use it in the storm build, I believe, because, well, you're not really using flame shocks all that much. You're just casting chain lightning and earthquakes and stuff. But um, for resto shaman, I completely forget about it, to be honest. <laughs> so i don't use it it's honestly it's not it's an impactful button but it's not very flashy either uh it, it's not the biggest you know benefit i guess it's also a three minute cooldown which feels weird but I, i'd like to say see changes nature swiftness that is it has uses for elemental uh, especially when you run elemental blast it's great but for enhancement it's useless because well, we don't use it, 
and there's no point because we have maelstrom uh so that talent could probably be changed i think if the talent is going to be in the class tree it should benefit all specs uh relatively the same obviously some talents are going to favor more than others for certain specs but these ones just seem to not some are good and then some are just super bad and it's just weird but yeah i don't i don't know i don't know what they're gonna do i mean we have our hero talents coming with uh totem master storm rigger and i don't remember what the other one's called but uh my hope what it sounds like is totem master is going to be revolving around totems and so it sounds like we're going to be more buffing our team maybe or they're going to give us offensive totems where they deal damage which would be kind of interesting to see but if they do that they really have to give us more health on our totems one for pvp i don't know what happened here good to be honest but for pvp our totems get killed and that's something that is just done with one hit and it feels horrible but if they can give us HP and give us offensive totems that will actually live for more than one hit, maybe two or three, that'd be great. Make it more incentive to run these totems. So we'll have to see what that happens. I'm assuming with Totem Master we're going to get some totem defense, maybe. Uh, hopefully a defensive with it, maybe. But for Stormbringer, it sounds like it's going to revolve... Uh, around Stormkeeper for Elemental and Ascendance for Enhancement, which would be interesting. Uh, but, I mean, we'll have to see. I think it is a great idea. I still don't remember what the other one is called. But I think if Totem Master brings a def If any of them bring it offensive, to be honest, I think that tree is going to be the primary tree everybody's going to run because everybody wants a defensive on Shaman. It's something that has been asked for for many, many expansions, and Blizzard knows about this weakness, but uh, seems to not do anything about it. And I mean, healing is great. We can self-heal, but you cannot self-heal a one-shot. You, you can't. And that's the problem where shamans run into. We have one defensive, and that's it. And then we have a second one on a five freaking minute cooldown, and that it's just ridiculous. But yeah, my hope for the war within is that we are going to get an additional. We're gonna get an additional defensive, and I hope to see a couple talents come back from. Older expansions such as Chain Harvest, you know, Fate Transfusion. I think we we need that incentive. Uh, they brought Primordial Wave back, but a lot of people, including myself, don't really enjoy the play style. I mean, I don't hate it. For Elemental, it feels great seeing all these Lava Bursts, and it is pretty good for it. But the Flame Shock generation i guess getting your flame shocks out feels horrible it really does it's so so reliant on lava surge totem that it feels awful it really does feel awful uh for enhancement it does feel better with the addition to the uh lava lash change which they did uh, i think halfway through shadowlands where you Lava Lash and you apply Flame Shock to four additional targets. Great. But why isn't it five? Why is it four? We can have a maximum of six. If you make it spread to five, that gives us all of our Flame Shocks. Why are we not getting five out at once? And I think something similar needs to be done with Elemental. It's honestly, it, it does shy away from... Uh, the players that play it constantly versus the players that want to try it but then fail to because they can't get the flame shocks out or are, are incorrectly using their cooldowns and that is fair you should shine a bit more if you've played this spec longer but that's going to make newer players feel bad about it like oh man i keep screwing up my cooldown or whatever and then you can't do anything about it because now you have to wait 
and then your cooldowns are all janky because uh, they're not lining up correctly anymore. And it's like, oh, crap. So I think that needs to be changed. That's where I think Chain Harvest would come into play. You know, it adds an additional way to spread your flame shocks. But yeah, let me know in the comments if uh, you want any talents to come back or are looking forward to something coming in the future, maybe for Shaman or any other class that you play. Let me know. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Laters.